If they took our report and they showed the report, the graphic I images, unedited, we edited them, okay? They're blurred. Ask any news broadcast, major news broadcast, if they would put that unedited on their TV, on their, on their TV station. They would not. You know why? Because they would get in trouble with the FCC. Attorney General, if you identify yourself and begin. Yes, I'm Jeff Landry, Attorney General for the State of Louisiana. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, appreciate your time this morning. Roughly nine months ago, our office began receiving calls from parents and librarians who were concerned about sexually explicit materials within our public libraries that minor children had unrestricted access to. Nine months ago, we began an investigation, not with any fair fair, completely in confidence <clears throat> and what we discovered in those libraries were graphic illustrations of young adults engaging in sexual activities detailed descriptions of young adults engaging in sexual acts books that discussed how to perform said deeds books that contain graphic descriptions of sexual abuse perpetrated by adults on minors very disturbing things and so we asked our lawyers to look at the evidence that we collected and determine whether or not the laws of this state protected our children and what we found that it did not because of certain exceptions that were found inside the Louisiana code in addition to the fact that books that go into the library then vested with a first amendment right but 45 library systems in this state an eight-year-old in 45 libraries in this state had access to these types of material. What was even more disturbing was that the research of our office conducted on the effects of early sexualization of children and how this leads to grooming, sexual abuse, and human trafficking, all of which is on the rise. Remember, our office runs the ICAT, ICAT unit, Internet Crimes Against Children. We have come before you. You have been generous enough to continue to support uh, that, that project. But each and every year, the number of tips and amount of arrests that we're making is on the increase. Also, I think it's important to remember this fact. According to John Hopkins, the majority of children who are sexually abused are abused by other children as well. The early sexualization of children through graphic in images such as the ones in question increased the risk for poor mental health, relationship dysfunction, addiction, sexual violence, and social isolation. In addition to increased risk of abuse, trafficking, and falling victim to groomers. For this reason, our office proceeded with placing, putting together a report called Protecting the Innocent Project, which you have. That's the report that Senator Cloud had to have binded and put in an envelope to give to the legislators, to, to the senators. Our goal, and which is on the internet as well, but if you go to download it on the internet, you have to verify that you're 18 years or older. Our goal was to empower parents with, the, with knowledge and encourage them to decide for themselves, is this sexually explicit material appropriate for their children? Remember, those libraries belong to the citizens of our state. This is not rocket science. Right. What we know, we know what is age appropriate and what is not. In fact, it's interesting because the media has done such a, a great job of saying everything that this bill and the things that we're doing are not. I had a young man come up to me um, the other day from Shreveport and he said, I just want to ask you, do you want to close down all libraries? Now think about that. Why would I want to close libraries? I said, no, sir. He said, well, my friends told me that. I didn't think so. What is this about? So I proceeded to tell him what we did, and then I had him download the report that you have in front of you. He called me back and said, this is in our libraries? And I said, yes. You see, those are the effects that when the community knows exactly what's going on in their library, they seem to be shocked. In fact, I would challenge any one of the media that's here today, anyone, let's see if they'll take it. 
Let's see if the paper will take it. Let's see if a radio station will take it. If they took our report and they showed the report, the graphic I- images, unedited, we edited them, okay? They're blurred. Ask any news broadcast, major news broadcast, if they would put that unedited on their TV, on their, on their TV station. They would not. You know why? Because they would get in trouble with the FCC. Ask any radio station if they would read the contents. NPR could not read from those books without getting in trouble with the FCC. Netflix, video games, movies, all are graded for age appropriateness. All this bill does, all this bill does, is simply ensure that our libraries are grading the books that are coming into them and placing them on age-appropriate shelves. Now, if it's good enough for the video game manufacturers, if it's good enough for the Motion Picture Association, if it's if the FCC has rules and regulations that require there to be special uh, content regulations, should not the libraries that your innocent children that you drop them off to hoping that they go in there learn and become creative thinkers shouldn't those libraries protect them as well and so i would urge you to pass this bill to look at the this but before you do to look at the content just like senator cloud has asked and ask yourself as a parent would you not want this content placed in an age appropriate spot. Mr. Chairman, I appreciate your time.